morning friends in this lecture series we will cover some of the topics regarding our subject on e business the code is pmm 571 and 471 regarding to integrated and mba program before we start we should understand that why this e business or the sole uh, terminology of giving online or offline things how this came into the society and how the things are changing e business is generally associated with a term called e commerce So in this lecture we will concentrate on first the understand the scenario and then we will see that how this scenario is changing with different aspects of customer organization society technology and all the things and then we should understand before going to the e business in detail we should first understand what is the basic difference between these two the terminology of e business and e commerce Now the terminology of e-business and e-commerce are generally used as the same, but there are certain differences between these two. So when I consider about the, the major trends in the social context or in the organizational context we can divide the major trend into some small parts or some categories you can say so that category can be by say the society the society at large is going digital it means we are moving from offline to online there is a shift from and there is a considerable shift from the offline environment the engagement the customer faces in offline environment and drive the engagement and the enjoyment or entertainment they feel in online environment so Majorly, you can say that the the younger generation are shifting from the online environment to an online environment. The basic drivers are advances in technology, advances internet connectivity, advances. in the terms of cost of access cost of access means the technology which facilitate the end user to access the internet is become cheaper so cost of access that technology or that internet or the network facility is becoming down the connectivity is much more wider with much more band space which much more easy to access and one more the cost of storage is also going down and the cost of processing also going down Storage, I can say, in the sense of servers, hard drives, all these things, storage media, the cost is going down. I can buy much more space in much more cheaper price. Cost of processing is the processing power of the computer. You can buy a high processor or a high-end machine with much lower cost. So, as, as an individual or as a customer or as a citizen. if i have an easy access 
of internet connectivity if i have a multiple gb space for storage my data if i have a lower cost of accessing that internet as well as if i have a lower cost of processing my data then i will be motivated to adopt this stream so as a social context this technological changes help me to shift from an offline transaction to an online transaction okay and this change also give motivation and also change the factor as a customer i influence the market so suppose as a customer today i need service we pass even when i order a pizza i require a pizza within 30 minutes or 25 minutes so that anxiety or that demand of fast delivery of the service is very much high and that is because the growth in the technology because when i see when i use my computer when i use my internet when i use this technology device everything goes very fast so that expectation shifts me and that expectation shifts my desire that all the system should be very fast so there is a demand of fast service now this technology also gave me a learning of self service now the self service means i am become more competent to do my things by the use of you can say internet technology devices mobile anything so these devices or these things give me a facility or they give me a medium to do my things by my own for example if i buy online i am browsing my website by own i am selecting my product by my own i am giving my details email address delivery address anything by my own i make my payment own with my online transaction or credit card or something and then place an order so there is a difference between this self efficiency and in traditional market the customer or what i believe the customer requires someone to be companion with when i shop for in an offline market or when i shop go for shopping in a market i don't usually go alone and as a society we don't usually go alone we go for with my family with my friends with my colleagues or someone we can say the expert in which which product are we buy but this online makes me a self efficient individual so as a person i have a knowledge of how to browse a website as a person i have know how to select a product what features i want to search for there are multiple websites or there are multiple uh, you can say portals that give me the product reviews there are multiple things which can i can search the best price best location best feature of the product so this give me a sense of self efficiency one more thing i need integrated solution and one more word you can say is right from this
one rule song. One rule solution means that in present I don't want to search different parts, different features, different peripherals from multiple locations. If suppose I am buying a laptop, then I need to buy a speaker, suppose external speaker. I want to buy an external CD player. I need to buy an external high digital quality webcam. Even suppose I need to buy a carry bag. So I need a place where all things can be together to be. So that is the case of product. If suppose I am booking a travelling, I am searching a travelling website, I am searching for a bad hotel in Udaipur in a portal or something then I need that portal to be efficient to book my house to book the room for me even if possible to allow a chat or a conversation with the hotel person if some advanced payment is required that portal or that uh, interface should be able to give me a facility of the payment of the transactions and I need a slip of a receipt of it or a confirmation mail or confirmation receipt of it. So that I will be convenient that at one place sitting in my office or sitting in my uh, couch I am able to transact, I am able to do all the things in one place. Now if I compare this scenario with the traditional environment for suppose if you book online booking or online reservation of a simple railway ticket from one place I have to buy or I have to collect a slip or form slip then I have to fill it, then I have to make move to the second counter then I have to wait for a queue for maybe hour or two hours then my uh, this uh, data get entered if the streets are available and it is allotted to me then I make payment in some cases in some government organizations this one group facility suppose in the case of e-governance I want to make uh, some rotten card facility then I have to move from one office to another office and another office to another office then file goes move on I make multiple transactions make payment to multiple locations so that irritates me as a customer I need an interface where an integrated solution should be provided to me as if it is a service then it should be an integrated solution if it is a product then the associated peripheral or associated devices should be there. And at present, even I require more choices or you can say more options. And the customer, I am very much fascinated about if you give me some more choices to me for a product if you give some more options to me I will be delighted so as a customer there is a tendency now that I need a more choice and that that more choice or the larger catch of facilities available or given by the online retailers they are expert in it they can give you 100 100 options for a single product if you suppose want to buy a camera they can give you 200 options if you suppose want to buy a digital cam they can give 100 options so there are multiple websites or multiple retailers which give multiple options or multiple product options in a single category so that excites me as comparison to the traditional market where for getting a multiple option I have to travel so there is, you can say, a search cost associated to travel and then to scrutinize that. That is an analysis cost, which is also available, which is also available for the online scenario. But here, the search cost is high in traditional market.
and you have, have to spend much more time as compared to the online scenario. So as a customer, I need more options, and that more options and those more choices is given by the online environment. So that's why I have got attracted to it. Now the customer has changed. The attitude has changed, they give more value to innovation. I'm ready to pay extra if the thing, if the product, if the service is unique. And the basic objective of this, that innovation or the unique product gives me a sense of identity, a sense of difference, whether the difference or the identity crisis or the search of uniqueness makes you a different personality, makes you to recognize yourself, to identify yourself. To appraise yourself in a group. Now that group can be your friends, family, colleagues, anyway. So that's the basic need. And that's the psychological need where people respect innovation. Another way or another you can say reason of respecting and giving more value to the innovation is efficiency. We believe that the unique product is more efficient, a different product is more efficient than its competitor. The unique design, the unique feature, the unique backup facility all this thing gives me the more value in it. One interesting observation of this is that we are moving more towards online and this environment give me more option, options to connect to my peers, to my family, friends, distance relatives, which are not physically in contact. So that this environment give me a medium in which I become more social. Today, people are more social in social media. You can see it. And it is a, it's a fact that we are more social, we are more open, we are more sharing in this new media. It may happen that you don't visit your neighbor once in a month. But it cannot be happen when you have an account of Facebook and you don't log into it within one day. Or within one hour, you usually search for any new uploads, any likes, dislikes, new comments. And today we search our friends and family members first from Facebook and then for, from address book. So that's the scenario is changing. We are becoming more social on social media and that is attracting the companies and that is also giving a big emphasis for the companies to change their services or to change their products and according to your social needs. All these things, Twitter, Facebook and all these things are platforms in which you share. But this platform gives you facility to upload or download the content that the content can be text, audio, video, and But all your transactions, all your 
content uploaded on this social media or social networks is scrutinized by the company. They can know the customer more easily from this rather than offline media. So that is the basic advantage or of the technology that for the company that I can know my customer very well. The sense of this is about the all about the customer. And I think services, the services, it needs to be integrated. In the last, uh, in the customer, we have seen that the customer wants an integrated solution. So the service should be integrated. So integrated solution should be provided. I don't want to visit multiple locations, multiple checkpoints to complete the transition. Give me one portal, give me one window in which I can traverse from one step to another, but I don't want to waste my effort or waste my time to do multiple things in multiple places. Even the redundancy, even the duplication of efforts, I don't want. So your mechanism or service delivery mechanism should be integrated should be seamless, should be clear. Seamless means the things should be clearly mentioned, where should I follow, where should I go, where should one transition can be completed, then after that transition, what should be done next? In the case, you have seen that when you order online something, before ordering started, now companies have a flow chart like this. And suppose you are for delivering or entering your delivery address. Then A show this is the Delivery address part. Second, you have to make payment and third, order receipt. So this one page, the one window will serve all the things. I am giving delivery address, delivery point here. I am giving payment in the next step and I am giving Receiving an order status or order uh, information in this system. So the step should be clear. This is an integrated window in which all the steps are to be fulfilled. Seamless transition. Your connection to the bank account, the bank holder, the credit card holder should be seamless, should be efficient, to not to crash in between, not to hold in between. And once you place an order, the company provides facility to track. I can track my order at any point of time, where it is. Some say, at some point we can say that it is order has been placed to the merchant in some day it can say the order has been packed for shipping in some day it can say that the order is in delivery process and one point day I got an SMS that the, the, the order is received sitting in your giving address in few hours by this and this person is up to that mobile number also so what ultimately it is what it gives about the service as a customer, I need to track my order and this gives me more this 
visibility. Now this visibility of service is very much important in today's scenario. So if you are providing a service, these three things should be very clear and precise to you. If I am a service provider, I have to provide an integrated solution. That's a demand. Don't fool your customer, don't make extra efforts from the customer. Your services, options, your services point should be seamless and clear to the customer. And you should give a tracking of visibility process. What does it give? And the customer or other service take up what it gives. It gives a trust. A sense of confidence towards the service provider. And which will give and return loyalty. At the end of the day, you make end up with a loyal customer. As an organization point of view, this is up to the service. Company has a website.x 
called xyz.com or .org or something. Then I can go to that xyz.com website and then search the information regarding those. I need, I want to invest something in those shares. Then I need to analyze the annual reports to analyze it whether the company is growing or not within five years or last uh, three years. Then where should I get annual reports? Here. The company website will provide me annual reports. What does it give? Information and what it results as a stakeholder I make better decision. So it means that if I provide, as a company if I provide information online then it is benefited for me that I make my stakeholders aware of my policies, aware of my growth, aware of my product, aware of my different aspects and then I facilitate that, that stakeholder to make better decisions. If that, that stakeholder, that the customer or investor or any financial consultant make informed decision about my company, it will help me in future aspects also and even the financial and social aspects. Technology also helps companies in outsourcing. Outsourcing generally it is a manufacturing website formation uh, and contract manufacturing. Why outsourcing is easy in with the use of that internet and technology because outsourcing means you are shifting your non expertise work to someone else in which you are not expert in so you are hired from consultant you hire some external parties or external manufacturer to do some job from you and it may not be possible that, that the person or that uh, the company is nearby located to your organization. It may not. So technology gives a facility of collaboration and communication. So it is essential for your organization to collaborate with your partner, business partner or outsourcer. Collaborate and communicate with your business partner regarding the deadlines, regarding the product features, regarding the specifications, regarding the various spendings at various points of time, regarding the financials. So it's very difficult to travel from one location to another frequently for every bit of information, for every bit of information that is helpful for future decision making. So your technology that we can call the video conferencing or teleconferencing, helping to organization to easily communicate to the outsource. So I can ask if, if it is a service, if I am making a software, it is very easy to outsource my software manufacturing or so the software development to any US website or US company. So I don't want to travel my employees or manager there and they don't want to come here, we can collaborate on telecommunication, teleconferencing thing and then the thing can happen. So it fastens the decision making process. Okay. As an organization, the trends are changing. I use technology for the uploading my content, uploading my aspects on the web, and also help me in the outsourcing part. As a technology, are becoming more compact, 
more fast. Integrated, compact in size, fast in process, integrated in the sense of providing different solutions. Suppose in the sense of mobile, I can send SMS, I can call, I can browse the internet, I can buy, I can sell, I can make payments to my bills, anything. I can use banking, I can use for traveling booking. So that technology or that device is compact, fast and provides an integrated solution. So that's the demand. And if a customer orders you, if I say technology gives three basic advantages of this, and with an automation point of view, with an automation point of view, technology provides me a channel. Which means that I am able to communicate with my customer with multiple channels. Mobile is a very powerful channel now. Because it's the only device which I carry with my holding. It is the only device through which I frequently search on. So mobile is a very good powerful device for the customer, for the organization also. To communicate with their customer. So organization communicate with their customer in the sense of SMS, SMS marketing network, in the sense of videos, SMS marketing, video marketing, in the sense of ads, online ads, when I search or browse internet, there are some pop-ups are there, some banners are there. There is called mobile advertising or mobile ads. So it becomes a very powerful channel in today's scenario. So these are generally a decent trends. So we are up to cover customer. What are the trends? Then organization. Society at large, technology, okay. and my demand for service. So as a society are becoming more digital, as a customer I need more fast service, integrated solutions, as an organization I need to be more online present, I need to be more visible online, I need to collaborate with my partners, with my customers online, as a technology it is becoming compact, cheaper, much faster, as a service provider, as a service demand it should be integrated. It should be seamless and it should be visible. It should be clear to everyone. Okay. And the delivery is one of the important criteria. So all this has changes in the social, technical dimension have forced companies to move towards offline to online, motivated the customer or citizens to move on, offline to online. Now you see that what are the basic difference between e-commerce and e-business.
when I see e-commerce and a single word, the first thing which came to my mind is buying and selling online. So if I have to ask anyone that what is e-commerce, he say that buying and selling online is e-commerce. And this word also gives me second definition. Commercial transactions online is a part of e-commerce. When I buy a railway ticket, when I buy a movie ticket, when I buy a product, when I pay for any service online, any commercial transaction where the money is involved and that money is transacted through an online environment, through a website, through an online banking facility, credit card or something, that is a part of e-commerce. But the broader definition includes non-commercial transactions. This is a new answer. For this, if I broaden the definition of e-commerce, the recent definition, the latest definition says that e-commerce is not only buying and selling online, does not only include commercial transactions, does not only include non-commercial transactions, uh, include non-commercial transactions. Non-commercial transactions means the transactions or the communications or the messages that you transact from one party to another to peer to peer, individual organization to organization, government to organization, anyone. So if I say that my email conversation comes to the e-commerce, yes. My blogs, my community, messages, yes. My social media posts, yes. So the broader definition says that the e-commerce includes buying and selling online and commercial transactions and non-commercial transactions both. Which can include your all messages and chat and all those things between the peers of nations, government and all those things. Now the basic difference between e-commerce and e-business. Now next is e-business. The difference between e-commerce and e-business is is this the difference of scope the scope of operation e-business is much larger than e-commerce. E-commerce is a part of e-business. What is e-business now? So in very brief you will see what is e-business. E-business include Commerce within the organization. Now, commerce is don't confuse about the commerce in commercial terms or in money terms. Commerce 
is in this context we are using it on for a transition basis okay, for transition so the transition between within the organization now what are the parties outside the organization in the supply side business partners On this side, you can say buy side commerce. On this side, you can say the sell side commerce. What are the parties here? Your business partners. Supplier here, customer. So e business include all type of commerce, all type of transitions within the organization, and the transitions which are related to the customer, and the transitions which are related to your partners, buyers, and all. The buy side parties, from which you buy the product, uh, raw material, and all services. Also. So the, this is the basic difference between these two terms. So I hope you don't confuse in future about these two. E-commerce is generally include a part of commerce, on commercial transactions, so commercial transactions include buying and selling of the product. But e-business is much more wider than e-commerce. It includes whether the buying and selling or emailing or communication or collaboration with my customers, with my business partners, with my supplier and also the communication within the organization is called e-commerce. Okay. So this is all about 